Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, a few things that I'm tracking overnight. Falling temperatures, surfaces are still wet, so that'll freeze into some black ice. And then the wind speeds will be picking up as well. The high wind advisory goes into effect at 1 o'clock in the morning through 5 o'clock tomorrow evening. Tomorrow, winds may be gusting 40, even 50 miles per hour. Now, our live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar, the bulk of the precipitation is has moved out. However, I'm watching a couple of areas of uh, some snow showers that one is tracking across uh, the Connecticut uh, Rhode Island border. This is moving off to the north and east and with temperatures now near or below freezing, it wouldn't take much for this to uh, coat the ground. So this is something uh, that we'll keep an eye on. Also, there's more activity off to our west out across um, uh, upstate New York and out towards Albany. I want to pan out towards uh, Hartford, Connecticut right now. You see that one area that I'm watching now. And then much later tonight during the overnight hours, you see another area in western Massachusetts and the Berkshires. This has to swing through as well. So again, they may coat the ground in some locations. It's not quite as widespread as what we had earlier, but uh, we'll keep an eye on the situation as far as any additional coatings of snow and certainly some black ice. So as far as snowfall uh, tonight and mostly the northern suburbs, Boroughville picked up two inches as well as Foster Foxborough two and a half the Attleboro is about an inch coating in Bellingham and here in Providence while we did have a burst of heavier snow it was mostly wet rather than white the roads now the temperatures uh, have been dropping off 33 now just above the freezing mark other locations are in the upper 20 so again wet surfaces will have to watch as far as any freeze up the winds are light for now but by tomorrow morning and certainly tomorrow afternoon really picking up below freezing already in Smithfield mid 30s along the coastline again in Providence at 33, but those gusty winds will drive in some cold air as well. High wind advisory for the entire area overnight through 5 o'clock tomorrow. Again, it may see gusts anywhere between 40 and 50 miles per hour. So the threat tr tracker in the medium level, both uh, tonight due to the black ice possibility and Wednesday with the high wind advisory west northwest. Again, early in the morning, especially some of those secondary roads, uh, watch for some icy spots. Things get back on track later tomorrow night and overall Thursday, not too bad. Then all eyes on the weekend for another potential storm system on Saturday. You can see the bulk of some of the heavier rain and snow uh, this evening now pushing offshore. Very cold air coming across the Great Lakes. And tomorrow with the cold temps and the strong gusty wind, well, wind chill temperatures will be in the teens and 20s. So your future cast this evening and overnight, just that quick snow shower in spots. Otherwise clearing out windy and colder temperature at 26. Morning commute tomorrow. Good visibility, no precipitation, sunshine. Very windy. Watch for icy spots early. Temperature at around 27. And then during the afternoon, brisk and dry tomorrow evening. Looking at clear skies, windy conditions, dry roads, and the moonlit skies as temperatures bottom out to uh, 29 degrees around 6 o'clock in the evening. Seven-day future cast shows dry weather on Thursday and Friday. All eyes on Saturday. A coastal storm. This will have an impact on the Patriots game. It's mostly rain, though there could be some wet snow mixed in towards the tail end. Stay tuned on that one. Sunday is dry and colder, partly sunny skies and temperatures in the mid 30s. So two things we'll watch tomorrow morning, patchy black ice and those strong winds. All right. Thanks, Tony. Coming up next on